How are we doing everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro X tutorial. I'm going to be talking about Flex Pitch, which is probably my most anticipated new feature here in the new version. So let's get right into it. We are going to be looking at an audio track today and it's just, oh, let me play a part for you. It's a long way home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. It sounds all right to begin with. We're just gonna round this off and make sure that everything is in tune perfectly with Flex Pitch. So first things first, we are going to go and sh uh, click the Show and Hide Flex. So we can do that. And in the drop down, make sure that we have Flex Pitch selected. Once we do that, it's gonna analyze the track and it's going to find the different notes in the audio file. And as you can see, it has it broken out here into a bunch of different notes that are all over the place. All right, so what does this mean? The up and down doesn't mean note. It means sharp or flat of a particular note. So if we were to grab a single note here and drag it up and down, up is sharp, down is flat. So we can see that subtlety in between the sharp and the flat. Now, if we wanted to turn all of these to perfectly on pitch, we can hold shift, click, and drag across as many as you want, and then with a single click and drag, we can get them all to the center line, which is very nice and very intuitive. Uh, what we can do now, though, is if we select a single, instead of just creating, pushing it sharp or flat, we want to push it up or down particular notes. So instead of just pulling up uh, to the end of the track, keep pulling up. And I just shifted a note up. I'm going to undo that now. but. Where do we go from here? This isn't a very uh, this view isn't very isn't helping very much because we can't really see the notes and how they are stacked maybe against the piano editor. So what you're gonna do is double tap the audio file and open up your audio uh, viewer and make sure that instead of file it's on the track side and you're going to get a view like this. Make sure your again show and hide uh, flex is on and it's on flex pitch. It should be if you've selected it before. So this is what it looks like. Now this is the view that's gonna look more like a Melodyne or an auto tune uh, and this right now most people are freaking out about because this is something that was missing in Logic for a very long time. Uh, so let's let's do something with it. What we're going to do is select all the tracks, like kind of, or select all the notes, and like we did in the uh, just just the range window, we're going to pitch them all to a hundred percent correctness. So I'm going to squeeze this here. Make sure to grab all of my notes, and then down here in the left-hand side, we can pitch correct all the way to 100%. I'm going to let go. It's going to match every single note to the nearest whole note. All right, and you can see that it snapped a little bit, and everything should be perfect now. But that's all fun and stuff. We want to go in and actually edit a very particular note. Uh, we want to change stuff about that note. Uh, so when you zoom in on a note, you can see there are six dots above and below each note. The top left is going to be the pitch drift into the note, and the top, uh, top right is going to be pitch drift out of the note. And we can select that. Obviously, I still have all my tracks selected. Uh, and then the left is the pitch drift in. Uh, bottom left is going to be the gain, which is really cool. If I were to select out and just select this one again, I can change the gain of this single note, which is something Logic Pro 9 was very was missing, this fine-tune audio uh, editing. Uh, so now we can do that. Uh, and then also in the middle is the vibrato. It's how much is that pitch wavering across the line? So we can switch that and make it almost flat, or we can even invert it and make it more vibrato. So very interesting way of doing that, uh, which is you know something that I actually haven't seen. Uh, I used Melodyne before, and I wasn't able to see that in, in the other one, in Melodyne. And then pitch is obviously just dragging up and down. Uh, and then 
finally is the formant shift. Formant shift, if you don't know what that is, is basically when you pitch a certain note up or down, a formant comes into play because you want to keep uh, the same tonality, I guess is a, is a good word. Uh, so you, you want to s the pitch note to sound normal even though you're, s it, you're pitching it. So you can use the formant to get that original uh, tonality, I guess is what I'm going with here. Uh, so you can go that route to make a pitch note sound normal or you can make a normal s note sound very weird. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to grab this formant and shift it down quite a bit. And I'm just going to play this and see what happens. <laughs> so it, it makes that very, very deep sound. It's the same note, it's just a very deep tonality. So that's what that does. There's a lot of things that you can do now with this editor. And like Melodyne, we can go in and fine tune uh, all of our audio uh, to match. And this is big news, big news, because like I said, normally we're supposed to be buying, or we have to be buying, like five hundred plus dollars in software so that we can do something like this. Now, with the two hundred dollar program, we can do this with uh, something built into the program. Like, there's no reason not to be getting this program, right? Uh, so, everyone, thanks for watching. I'm sure I will be out with more tutorials very soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.